Happy Monday, Banner. Good morning, Banner. All right, we had, they had the half day on Friday, and and we're we're back, and and uh, we're gonna have a great week. We got an awesome, uh, fun filled week. Announcements. Oh, we do <laughs> definitely. Hey, it's a great day to be a Bobcat, yeah. Yes, it all is. Right. It's always a great day. I hope y'all are, are being good Bobcats today. And what is your one word that you have this year, Miss Swinkman? My one word is strong. Strong. Like, are you like lifting weights and stuff like that? Are you lifting heavy things? Mm, I was thinking mentally strong. Oh, I mean, you can be strong in the brain and strong <laughs> yeah. in the arms. <laughs> I like to read books that are about becoming more mentally strong. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. And, and I think our, all of our students are getting mentally strong here too. Yes, they are. They, okay. Very cool. I like that one word. Very good. All right, we've got birthdays this week and we're going to go back and forth again. So I will start off. Happy birthday this week to Jack Colin in 1H. And Evan Stout in 1H. Boy, 1H is busy. Yes, it is. Matthew Hardy in 1H. Happy birthday. And Jacob Nicholas in Life Skills. And Theodore Trotter in Mrs. Conley's class. Nora Ward in 4R. Joel Vanny in Mrs. Winslow's class. Elsa Del Pozo Martin in 4D. Srianch Gadila in Mrs. Baker's class. And then we have some staff members' birthdays. We have Mr. Abraham, happy birthday. Mrs. Velker, and I understand she has a special birthday this year. And Miss San Jose, who may or may not have a special birthday. I don't know. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Wright, our art teacher, happy birthday to you as well. Hope you guys all have a great birthday week. All right, we've got a lot of announcements we're going to roll with today. Yes, we do. Coming up in uh, March is the diaper drive that we all watched the video about that's so exciting and so important. And I know Banner Bobcats are going to bring so many diapers for these kids to help them out. So you said it's coming in March. You don't start it today, right? Yes. T today is the day. <laughs> so, we are in March already. This year's just flown by. It's been so awesome. We are, awesome. yes. And, and, and I think we already have di people already did turn in diapers. So, oh. so we have to check that. We'll okay. have to check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Diaper drive. All right. Fantastic. All right. Bus. Students, we need your cooperation to make sure you're behaving on the bus. And um, whether that be, uh, well, here are the bus expectations. You basically need to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and stay in your seat. Do not move while, while the bus is moving. And uh, talk at, at, a, at a good level. Um, it's important that they be well behaved on the bus, isn't it? It is. That's better for safety for the bus driver to drive them safely to school. Absolutely. We want to make sure our bus drivers uh, can get you to and from school safely. So do a great job there. All right. Let's talk about box tops. All right, what about box tops? Mrs. Baker's class has already brought in 416 box tops. Wow. I know, that's amazing. That's so awesome. we are still collecting those. Okay, they I, actually, I think they won. I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna get, get something or not, but anyway, We still job. take them throughout the year. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We had some other couple other classes. Mrs. Winslow, Mrs. Bettenhausen, also we're up in the top three, but Mrs. Baker, way to go. Awesome job. All right, spring pictures are this coming Wednesday. So. The only way you would take a spring picture is if your mom or dad or guardian, whoever it be, they have to sign up either with the paper form or online. Otherwise, that you won't get your picture taken. Okay? Awesome. We have a packed Friday. Ooh, yes. We have report cards coming home. Yes. Yes. We have jet toy cars in fifth grade. Yes. Yes. I love that day. <laughs> Me too. We also have the thousandth day of school for our fifth graders. Wait a minute. What happens on the thousandth day? Do you know what we're going to do? I think the fifth graders are going to parade through the hall and we're going to celebrate them. We are. We're going to make a, we're going to make a tunnel for them and, and, and we're going to have a special song for those guys. I heard that. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to you hear what it is. You know what the song is, is No, you wouldn't okay. tell me. Nope. Nope. It's a secret. All right. Okay. We also have cookie sales on yes. Friday and the PTO is hosting an awesome bingo night. The last one I brought my kids to uh -huh. and we loved it. Oh, that bingo night is a lot of fun. It doesn't cost anything and it's, it's this coming uh, Friday night and hope to see you all there. It's a great, great time. Okay. All right. Where are we at? Are we, are we done with all those? I think we are. I think we are. Okay. Um, fifth graders, I want to wish you best of luck today. You are all taking the algebra aptitude test. It's something to get ready for sixth grade. So good luck today. That test, I believe you are taking it. Uh, some are taking this this morning. Some are taking it this afternoon. So, okay. I asked students a question. I asked them what, if there was any vegetable that they wish they could get rid of, 
Which what vegetable would it, would it be and why? And do you have vegetable you don't like? I do. What vegetable don't you like? I really don't like broccoli, but I oh. force myself to eat it so that my kids will eat it. That's really good. That's really good. I, I would choose celery. I oh, do yeah. not I like, I, you know what? I, I, anytime I've had celery, it's been on accident. <laughs> um, like if it's been chopped in up in something. Oh, and, and once I taste it, it, it's done. Salad is done. So. Anyway, that's mine. But you ought to see all the, the responses we got from some students and some staff members. Okay, okay. we're gonna cut into them right now. Eggplant, because um, it's very disgusting and um, tastes gross. Um, I would say Brussels sprouts. I can't honestly say I've ever tried them, but I don't think they smell very good. So I would say Brussels sprouts. I would get rid of as my vegetable. It would probably be something really bitter because I really don't like bitter stuff, honestly. Broccoli. Because? Um, because I just don't like it. I prefer cauliflower. I would get rid of cucumbers because I am allergic to them. When I eat cucumbers, my face feels kind of funny. I would get rid of spinach because my mom likes to make food with spinach and I really don't like it and I actually want to have a dessert for once in my life. I would get rid of lima beans because the inside is really gritty and I don't like them. I don't know. Probably squash or beetroot because I don't like them. And why? Brussels sprouts because they're gross. I would get rid of Brussels sprouts because they're disgusting and I hate them. Um, I would get rid of beets because they're just terrible. I, I really don't like them. I think it's the red color, maybe. It would be a tomato because I'm not, I'm not, uh, tomatoes aren't my favorite food. Lima beans. I hate them. And my mother-in-law cooks them every holiday. Why? None, because they're my favorite. Uh, I would get rid of beans because, like, they're like mushy and stuff, and I don't like that. I don't like really mushy beans. None, because I like all vegetables and they're healthy. Peas, because they're too juicy and kind of gross. Broccoli, because it's not a vegetable. I would get rid of Brussels sprouts, because I just can't stomach them. Hi. It's asparagus because it's pretty nasty. Asparagus? Probably peas or like green beans because like what, my mom always makes me eat like green vegetables and it kind of gets boring sometimes I guess and they're also I don't like them so I guess they're kind of like one of the vegetables I would like to get rid of. Uh, I don't like cucumbers because they come back and visit later. All right, Ms. Winkman, what did you think of those uh, responses? Lots of different responses. Yeah, which one was your favorite one? Um, peas. The one with peas. <laughs> I hope somebody <laughs> said that. <laughs> I, I think, think somebody might have not liked peas. Okay, all right, it's time for our new segment called Would You Rather? All right, Ms. Winkman, what you got? Okay, would you rather go bungee jumping or go on the world's tallest roller coaster? I'm, you know I'm scared of heights, didn't you? <laughs> or from the last Would You Rather about the rainbow and the, and the clouds. Ooh, I think I would choose the world's tallest roller coaster. I think I would feel secure, the bungee, the free falling. Not for me. Not for me. That's okay, can Thank I you. give you another one? Oh, if you must, sure. Would you rather be a master at painting okay. or an amazing dancer? <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think um, I think I'd rather be a great dancer. <laughs> that sounds like more fun than being a master painter. <laughs> I'd rather be a master painter. <laughs> I think that sounds more relaxing. <laughs> that does. That does. Okay, I've got one for you. Okay. If you only had one toy, like pretend you're a little child. Okay. okay. You had one toy that you could play with, and no other toys. Okay. And your only choices would be an Etch-a-Sketch. Okay. Or a container of Silly Putty. 
Oh, silly putty. Which putty. one would it be? Hands down. Silly, silly putty. putty. Well, why? You could make things out of it. You can stretch it. Okay. You can do all kinds of things. All right, very good. Awesome. I love that. Very good. I like that was a good good would you rather. All right, it is time for the joke of the, of the week. week. All right, what you have? What did the big flower say to the little flower? What did the big flower say to the little flower? I have bigger petals than you. Uh, Hi, bud. Hi, <laughs> bud. Very good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's good. That's good. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Hey, we've got a fun-filled week. Uh, Friday especially is packed with a lot of things. Congrats to the fifth graders for their jet toys and their thousandth day of school. That's awesome. And uh, we're going to have an awesome week, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right. And students, as you always know, you belong here.